listen, no one's more in tune with, with you guys than me. I know exactly what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, man, you know, I'm playing, here I am, playing All-Star Baseball 99 for my Nintendo 64, and all I really want to do is have infinite character creation points so that I can create a baseball player uh, that is, you know, the best baseball player who ever lived. And I know this is still going to be a problem for you guys, but that's not really my concern, because I have now in my possession... Get, get out of here, ugly controller. I now have in my possession a Game Shark. You might be asking, what's a Game Shark? Well, it's basically a Game Genie, only it's a shark. And it works with your Nintendo 64 games. So now, you can have infinite character creation points in All-Star Baseball 99. So this was sent to us by our friend Theodore from Honolulu, Hawaii. And thank you very much, Theodore. This is actually, you know, stuff like this is a big help. And I can see you spared no expense in getting it to us, which is, I, I appreciate it even more for that. And you know what? I've never actually used one, so this is gonna be a, this is a first time for everything. Before we get into how it works, though, uh, let's take a look at the Game Shark for the for the size comparison. It's about the same size as a Nintendo 64 cartridge. Um, it's a little taller, but not not by much. Of course, the the cartridge slot on the top makes it extra tall. But in terms of that, the actual little device itself, it's not that much taller than a N64 cartridge. It's about the same width. So it, it looks about the same, weighs about the same, uh, so, you get a, so you get an idea of the size of this thing. It very much looks like a Nint Nintendo 64 cartridge, obviously the difference being that it's black, and it's got this thing, which you can't see it right now because it's not plugged in and turned on and that's how electricity works, but this is actually a little, uh, little screen that reads numbers and basically information about uh, what's going on with the Game Shark, like accessing it and things like that. So that when you plug in your cartridge and you turn this thing on, there's actually a little countdown, there's a little red number that appears here, it's like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, cheat. It doesn't actually say cheat, but that's that's what it's counting down to, now it's time to cheat. So here's how it works, uh, you actually plug the cartridge in on the top, like so, and then you stick it in your N64, like that. And then uh, you actually, when you load it up, uh, instead of going to the game, it goes to the Game Shark first, uh, and it uh, asks if you want to use uh, whatever codes you have input for that specific game. So when you actually go to the menu for this, uh, it gives you a whole list of the games for which you've inputted codes, um, and then you know you pick that game, and it has a list of the codes you've inputted. You can pick which codes you want to have on. If you don't want to play with any of the codes on, you don't have to. You can turn them off. Um, or you can add more codes that way and add more games all from the menu and then once you're ready to go uh, You can click uh, start game and it starts up your game And there are really all manner of different codes you can put in um, There are codes that actually benefit the game and have like a normal effect on the game So like for Star Fox for example, uh, I had codes in that gave me unlimited uh, smart bombs and uh, also unlimited lives So it, uh, it you know if you, if you struggle with some of the later levels in Star Fox 64 um, you know, that's a nice thing to have, especially nice to have for the, the boss in Zonus, which uh, requires a lot of bombs. Uh, and it's also stuff that you can use in the context of the game that doesn't feel like you're breaking the game. I mean, you're obviously cheating, but it still feels like uh, the game's running normally. It's just, oh, you happen to have unlimited health and unlimited, uh, or not unlimited health, but unlimited lives and unlimited bombs. Um, you know, if you look at a game like Mario Kart 64, for example, I had codes turned on in that game that basically, as soon as I crossed the finish line, uh, the, it was like instant win. Oh, game's over, you get first place. Which I, I've never really understood cheats like that. But I guess it is cool that uh, you know the Game Shark does offer that wide variety of different types of codes, uh, you know, different different types of cheats for different types of people. Uh, but the good thing is that it really supports a lot of a lot of N64 games. I don't know the specific number. But what I do know is, if you know whatever your favorite N64 games are, the Game Shark probably supports it. Um, all the big ones, like you know Mario 64, we looked at uh, Mario Kart, Star Fox. I mean, GoldenEye. The, the list goes on, and a lot of the sports games as well. It, it, to, to find a game that it doesn't support is actually more of a feat than you know finding the ones that it does. So a lot of support and uh, and a lot of good functionality too. And actually, I, I think the Game Shark is probably worth having just for GoldenEye fans. You can do a lot with GoldenEye with Game Shark. In fact, the, after GoldenEye came out, um, that's when the Game Shark really started to rise in popularity because there were so many codes that you could use in GoldenEye uh, with the Game Shark. Stuff that really adjusts, the, you know, different parameters and characters and things in the game. So, uh, a lot of cool cheats with that game. Uh, but, you know, like I said, if whatever your favorite N64 game is, unless you're a weirdo, 
Uh, <laughs> it's probably supported by the Game Shark, so it's definitely worth checking out, even now, and even for the steep price that it tends to go for, obviously.